good morning, boys and girls, and welcome. I hope you're all um, sitting up and watching me from your home. Um, I'm just going to give you another wee um, bio lesson. To I'm going to tell you about this wee story in which Jesus rode in on a donkey and why it's important for us today. So, one day, Jesus was traveling toward Jerusalem and his disciples were following him just behind. And as he came to the towns of Beth Sage and Bethany on the Mount of Olives, he said that two of his disciples to go ahead of him and to go into this these towns. And he said, as you enter it, you will find a donkey tied. Untie it and bring it to me. If anyone asks, what are you, what, why are you untying that colt? Simply say that the Lord needs it. And so the two disciples left Jesus and they went into the village ahead of him. And they saw the donkey tied and they took the donkey. And just like Jesus said, a man came and he said, why are you untying that donkey? And the disciples simply just replied what Jesus had told them to say. The Lord needs it. The Lord needs it. And so they took the donkey and they brought it to Jesus. And they brought it to Jesus and he, they put Jesus on the donkey. And Jesus started to ride toward Jerusalem on this donkey. And as he got closer and closer to the Jerusalem, crowds started to form. And they started to form and they laid down garments. They laid down their cloaks on the ground in front of Jesus. They laid down palm branches like we saw earlier in front of Jesus as he rode along on this donkey. And they did more than that, boys and girls. They actually, they started shouting praise to God. They started saying blessings to the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. But some of the Pharisees, boys and girls, some of the Pharisees weren't too happy about them praising Jesus as the king. And they said to Jesus, teacher, rebuke your followers for saying things like that. Rebuke simply means to correct. Correct your, your followers and tell them that you are not the king. But Jesus knew that he was the king. And so Jesus simply replied to those religious leaders. He simply replied, if they keep quiet, the stones along the road would burst into cheers. And so this was the wee story that we find in the Bible. And that was found in Luke chapter 19 and verse 28 to 40. Now, why did I tell you that, boys and girls? What was the reason behind me telling you that wee story? Well, Jesus didn't, didn't just randomly decide one day to get a donkey and to ride into Jerusalem on that donkey. There's a reason to everything that Jesus did. And there was a reason to why he rode in on a donkey. And that reason, boys and girls, was to fulfill the prophecy about him. Now, the word prophecy... It's a big, big word, and you're probably wondering what that means. And I was too, and I, I was a wee bit confused with the word prophecy as well. So we're going to learn together what prophecy means. Prophecy basically means to predict what will happen in the future. To basically say what is going to happen in the future, and for that to come true. And in the Bible, there are many, many people called prophets. And these prophets were sent by God to tell the people of Israel of what will happen if they do not follow God. They would come to the people of Israel and they would say, if you do not turn back to God, if you do not follow God, this is what is going to happen. Because God loves you too much to let you walk away from him. And so these prophets would come and tell the people of what will happen if they do not return to God. And this man, there's a man named Zechariah. And Zechariah made a prophecy about Jesus. And this prophecy goes a little bit like this. It's found in Zechariah chapter 9 and verse 9. It says, Rejoice, O people of Zion. 
Shout in triumph, O people of Jerusalem. And this is a wee bit I want you to listen. Look, your king is coming to you. He is righteous and victorious, yet he is humble, riding on a donkey, riding on a donkey's colt. And so, boys and girls, Jesus didn't simply just randomly decide to jump on a donkey and to head into Jerusalem. No, he did it on purpose because he wanted the people of Israel to see him as the king who was coming. He was the king that was foretold, was prophesied about years and years ago by that man, Zechariah. Zechariah told the people that a man was coming that was going to be king of all of us. And that that was who Jesus was. He was the king. He, he is the king of our lives as well. He should be the king of our lives. But Jesus did all this because he wants a relationship with you. He wants a relationship with with you and he wants a relationship with me and that's because he loves us so much boys and girls and we have to remember that and God isn't just some some man in the bible God isn't just some character in a book God is real God is living and God loves you and he wants you to be in relationship with him he wants you to follow him And so Jesus came into Jerusalem riding on a donkey to show the people of Israel that he was in fact the king that they were waiting for. He was the king that was told, the people of Israel were told about in the Old Testament. He was going to come and he was going to save the world. And that's exactly what Jesus did. He offered all of us a chance to be saved. So thank you all for listening. And I hope you are all doing really well. Um, I just want to finish um, with a wee word of prayer. So let's pray. Lord, we come before you and we just give you thanks again for this story in the Bible that teaches us that you are the king that that the Israelites were told about so many years ago, that you're the king who would save the world. And we thank you, Jesus, that you came And you sacrificed yourself for us. And that you gave us a way out so that we could be in a relationship with you and live forever. So Lord, we give you thanks and we pray that you would help us to follow you more and more each day. Amen. So thank you all for listening. And I hope this has been um, quite simple. I hope it hasn't been too hard for you to understand. Um, I hope you have a great day. See you later.